So when we were together, you're saying you would... Did I think about having sex with men? Yes. Are you saying, did I think about it when we were together? Yes. <laughs> so, uh, how did you have sex with all of this? Just... Um, there was a handsomeness to you. Oh, my God. Okay, maybe that wasn't the right, the right way to I'm say I'm so that. happy for you. I'm so, so happy for you. That means a lot to me. It's just, I wish you could have figured this out earlier, I don't know, in maybe liberal arts college when there were so many gay men around. I don't know. Okay, now I'm sensing a bit of aggression coming off of you. And you know what? I just want to tell you, I didn't ask you to talk about our past relationship, you know, whatever the fuck that was. It's more about the fact that I have an STD and I'm pretty fucking sure that you're the one that gave it to me. And what makes you say that? Because I've been having protected sex with my boyfriend and he doesn't have HPV. HPV? Yeah. Your boyfriend was tested for HPV? Yes, and he doesn't have it. Well, that's absurd. And why is that absurd? Because there is no test. There is no way a man can test for HPV and your boyfriend? Yeah, he'd know that if he'd even taken an intro level to the Human Sexuality Workshop. Oh, so you're saying you don't have HPV, huh? No, I'm saying there's no way for me to know. And quite frankly, Han, I reject your... <laughs> resent your accusation. <laughs> you always like this. You know what? It is not the time to throw stones, mister. I'm in a glass house because I was the one that was lied to. By who? By you. For two years. Yeah, well, I think it was... Maya Angelo, who said, we're only as gay as we want to be, as blind as we want to be. Oh, so I should have known that you were gay. Is that what you're trying to say, silly me? It's just that your fruity little voice that you got going Excuse on me? right now. Yeah, it's a new thing. Yeah, fruity little voice. Keep your fruity. voice. Fruity. Keep your voice. Fruity little down. voice. Keep it down. Oh. oh, this is about the scarf, isn't it? No, it's not about the scarf. It's... No, the scarf is definitely not helping the situation, but it's more about your mannerisms and your tone of voice and the whole... I'm being my authentic self, <laughs> okay? This is my authentic self. If you had been at this gay in college, I would have known, because I have two eyes. Oh my God, and two ears. Yeah, you might want to take a step back and take a look at your other boyfriends. <sighs> yeah, and not just for no reason. Maybe take a look at your dad. Excuse me, you did not just go I there. I did, yeah. What about my dad reads gay to you? Excuse me, have you seen that little stud he's got in oh, his Oh, he ear? got that on a trip in Thailand with a bunch of guys. I just... No, I... Are we hearing ourselves? No, I just are we hearing ourselves? I heard what I that sounded like are. in my yeah, head. It Thailand, just took a little penises, bit. Alright, it was a mistake. You know what I'm going to do from now on, mister? I'm going to ask guys if they're super gay before I have sex with them. Good luck with that. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> oh, you. and you might want to take a step back and have a look at your own outfit. Because that screams leather. Oh! Excuse me, Mr. Carson Daly, have you seen yourself? Did you look in the mirror nice this morning? Yeah. I don't know about that. You know, I'm gonna have yeah, the last yeah, word yeah. in this situation. Your dad Mr. is gay. Mm-hmm.